In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create these gorgeous, glamorous curls that are perfect for any occasion. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel all about Aoife. I'm Aoife and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create glamorous curls that are perfect for a special occasion or for going out or even just for everyday wear when you want to feel glammed up and gorgeous. This is probably one of my favourite hairstyles. I do this look all the time and I always get asked how do you do your hair? My answer is always the instyler. So before we get started on the tutorial today, I want to talk you through my favourite hair tool that I have been using for years. It's the instyler. I love the instyler. Not only does it make amazing curls, but it also is useful for straightening. Although it's probably not designed to straighten, it's great to have a hair tool that does two in one. I've had this for years. I bring it everywhere with me. It's probably not in the best condition at the moment. It's looking a bit sad because I have been bashing it around, bringing it from place to place, in and out of suitcases and bags. I bring it everywhere I go because I absolutely love it and I know I can turn into it to create an amazing hairstyle. So I have hair extensions in at the moment. I've been having hair extensions in for years now. These are Gold Fever hair extensions. They're probably the best on the market at the moment. And when they are paired with the Instyler, you get a magical hair effect. If you don't have hair extensions, don't worry. The Instyler is going to create an amazing curl that's gonna last and last. So to get started today, I have started by washing and blow drying my hair to get it prepped for the curls. Don't worry too much about straightening your hair or blow drying it straight. It's nice to have a bit of texture in the hair so that the curls will really hold. So I've just turned on the instyler so it's getting nice and hot ready for me to curl my hair. So I'm starting off by sectioning my hair and I'm just taking the top section here. The sections are running parallel to my split and I'm going to split this section into two. So it's gonna be the front part and the back part. So I have my first section of hair and I'm going to take the instyler and rotate the hair around the barrel. And then I'm gonna clamp it down and the instyler is going to roll the hair. I'm gonna leave the instyler in my hair for about 10 to 15 seconds to get that nice curl. When I'm finished, I'm gonna stop the barrel from rotating and I'm simply gonna let the curl drop down into my hand. I'm gonna take the curl back up, trying to keep it in place. I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm simply going to clip the hair in the curl that the instyler has made. So I've clipped the first curl in place because I want the curl to last really long. This way it can set in, there's still a bit of heat in it and it's gonna create that long lasting curl that we're looking for. So I'm going to continue with my hair. I'm gonna start by taking sections. I'm gonna curl and then I'm gonna clip and then we are gonna have this fabulous granny chic look before we have our glamorous curls. I am curling the front of my hair in a forward motion because I do want to create a nice glamorous curl that comes down the side of my face. But for the rest, I'm gonna curl the hair away from my face and I'll show you how to do that now. When you get to the back of your hair, because the curl at the back isn't gonna be going one way or another, what I like to do is just decide one way and then take a kind of mid section and curl it from there because we don't want the curl to start all the way up here because the hair just doesn't really know where to go at the back. Now 
I'm going to continue with the hair. I'm going to curl all the hair on this side away from my face this way and all of the hair on this side away from my face this way. You want to be careful when using the instyler because it can get a bit hot but it's perfect for creating those fabulous glamorous curls. One of the things that I really love about the InStyler is this brush head here and I love the way when the barrel is curling your hair is being brushed through these little threads here and it's creating a nice soft curl when we take it out. So when I'm coming to the back section of my hair what I like to do is curl the hair up towards the ceiling so you get a nice bit of volume at the back. So when you're sectioning the hair, I like to take quite a thin bit because I really want the curl to hold and if you use a thick bit of hair, it can be harder for the heat to penetrate through all the hair. So I'm finished pinning up my hair and it is looking quite granny chic. I kind of like it to be honest and we're going to leave them in now to set for really as long as you have. Sometimes I'm running out the door and I only have a half an hour and they still look perfect when I take them down. Other times I leave them in for 2-3 hours or most of the day before I'm going out that evening and you get a nice long lasting curl. So I finished setting my pink curls, they've been in for about an hour now which I think is fine. I took one down just to check it out and it was quite spirally so I think they're ready to come out. So it's simply a case of just taking all the pins out and then we're going to brush it through and have fabulous glamorous curls. So I've taken all the bobby pins out of my hair and I'm just double checking that there's nothing left in because often I've gone on a night out and then in the middle of the night I look and I just pull a pin out of my hair and I'm like, oh my God, that was in there the whole night. So yeah, you just wanna double check that. This isn't the final look. This is probably more of an Irish dancer ringlet look. So there we have it guys, our big bouncy voluminous curls perfectly styled by the InStyler are complete and I think they're looking quite nice if I do say so myself. I'm just going to finish them off with a little bit of hairspray and just make sure that the curls really stay in place and also a top tip when using hairspray for getting those flyaways is to take a little brush or comb like so, place a little bit of the product onto the brush and then we're going to go straight in to make sure all those flyaways are Gone. So that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. I've really enjoyed making it. I think the curls are fabulous and glamorous and they're exactly what we were looking for. So make sure to check out my other videos and please subscribe if you liked this one and don't forget to like and comment below. That's all about Aoife out.